Hi guys, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning June 8th, 2015. This week I'm going to be using the Angels of Atlantis Oracle Cards by Stuart Pierce and then of course pulling a card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Cards by Anna Seagal. And if you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Just go to the services page and we will get you in line for a reading. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that info down below. Okay, so let's get into it here. Deep breath. June 8th. Hmm. Feels okay. Feels kind of nice. <laughs> I don't have anything major coming through just yet. More wisdom stuff coming through. I feel like that's been a theme. All right. Whoo. Yes. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so I'll just skip ahead. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. What's Michelle freaking out about? I'm freaking out about this. First, I saw this last card, which is Metatron Miracles. And there's a little baby in there. And as you guys know, Zayden was born and he's doing great. Love you, sweetheart. Um, and Metatron is here as well. Here's why I was like, oh my gosh, this necklace... Oh, hopefully I won't mess up my mic. This necklace I'm wearing, this is actually an Archangel Metatron... Uh, concoction. <laughs> I don't know. The stone. Uh, this is a Lemurian seed crystal up here. And I forget what this is. It's, um, I forget, Tanzanian or something like that. A uh, quartz crystal. Anyway, this is supposed to be the energy of Archangel Metatron. And now here we go. We've got two Metatron cards popping up. So I freaked out maybe for nothing. Maybe you sent and they go, Michelle, this is not interesting. Just move on with the reading. And I shall. Here we go. So the first card we have up is Ariel Trust. So in this week, you're going to start seeing things working out, but it's not going to be the way that you had thought. And you might have this moment of, okay, that feels right. Actually, that feels a lot better than the thing I was pushing on and trying to make happen. But is it going to work out? Is it going to be okay? Is it? I don't know. I've never gone down that path before. Trust. Just trust. Trust that you're doing the right thing when you let go and you go with the flow of the universe. That's how these beautiful things that you can't even imagine are able to flow to you when you let go and allow them to come in. I've been talking about that for a while, right? Then, of course, we have Metatron Wisdom. <laughs> All right. So keep working towards the wisdom, guys. And I, I hate to keep harping on this, or maybe I didn't really go into it enough a couple of weeks ago, and that's why this is coming up again, but the wisdom, that is a, a very different thing than just gathering the knowledge. Now, when I, I'm going to talk about this for a second, when I got into this angel stuff, I came into the metaphysical community, and I was like, well, I guess I do angels. It kind of picked me, and that's what I'm doing here. And I got a lot of pressure to know what everybody else knew. Like, I don't know, pick anything, and I was supposed to know it. And I really just kind of thought, I don't have to know tarot. I don't have to be an astrologer. I mean, these might be nice crossover things, but, you know, I fully trusted, here we go, trusted the wisdom that was coming through from the angels. And I knew what my place was, and I knew that I didn't need to be completely new agey, and I don't have to uh, even fall into the, you know, the, what these people coin themselves the spiritual community, where it's a lot of Eastern philosophy. Well, I don't have to know about that stuff either. I guess not. I know, a lot of you are gonna argue with me about that, and that's okay. That's what we said before. Go ahead, because that means you're thinking. I like it. You know, put it down below but it doesn't mean I have to know the ins and outs of how you know certain traditions do their meditations as long as I'm tapped into the wisdom within me as long as I am respectful of everyone's path to God's source creator as long as I am respectful for everyone's way of plugging into the divine I'm doing okay I'm plugged in to the divine and to my purpose which involves the angels so Raphael shows up and it's cleansing, okay? <sighs> a 
let me see. Here it is again. What are you guys? <laughs> what is that? The best way I can articulate this, this is sort of like stop fighting one another and stop trying to be right. Again, watch the self-righteousness. You don't have to fit into a category per se. You know, enjoy everyone's differences, but even if you don't fit into one of those categories, I don't fit into any category. I don't. I don't fit into the New Age community. I don't really fit into a Christian community. I don't really fit into the quote-unquote spiritual community, which I, I see that more of an umbrella thing. But there's a certain city in this United States here that actually has a tagline on their, um, I guess, their city website that says, we're spiritual, not New Agey. So I guess it's different. Whatever. But I'm one of those people. I'm, I don't fit into any category. So cleanse that stuff away. If you are doing that to someone, okay, take a check, okay? Check yourself. Just be like, am I doing that? Hmm, maybe I should try a different approach. Or if someone's doing this to you, cleanse that away. Angel card readers, get out there and be angel card readers, okay? You don't need to cross the genres. You don't need to cross. <laughs> just, just do your thing, all right? So the last card we have is Metatron again, and like we said, it's miracles. So if you trust, get in tune with your higher wisdom, you do the cleansing, where well, you're not trying to get one over on somebody else, you're not just trying to toss your knowledge around, um, and, and therefore you think that stamps you as having done good soul work, if you do it right, you're really gonna start noticing these miracles and they're gonna start blooming and popping everywhere. Now there is a baby in this card, a little sleeping baby. So if you are one of those people out there looking to have a child, it could happen, okay? It could happen. You might get news this week, or you could try this week, or what have you, okay? Otherwise, if you're not looking to have a baby, this is a good week to let yourself be reborn. Give yourself a refresh, right? Because you are cleansing here. You can be the miracle, or you can create something, okay? giving birth to something that helps you tap in to miracles around you that are happening all the time. Okay, so let's leave that. That got a little deep, didn't it? Just Scorpio girl, I will not disappoint you. <laughs> if you want to go deep into conversation, I'm there with you. All right, so color card for the week of June 8th. Cards like sideways. Ooh, orange. Ooh, I just said be reborn yourself, and orange is like the sacral chakra where you can give birth to a new you. Okay, nurture yourself is the card, was what it says on the card, and the number is 16. So tune into that sacral chakra, guys. Get creative. <laughs> create you can create your own miracles you can give yourself a reboot a refresh whatever it is and if there's something that now this would be the week i think mercury goes direct this week doesn't it yeah yeah cool okay so you could get started on a creative project and maybe launch it give it a couple days after june 11th <laughs> and then get started but it's time it's time to be um what, what are you guys saying? Energized. Get energized by what you can create. It's what you're here for. You are here to emulate creator. Be the co-creator of your own little microcosm. So get in there and do it. All right, guys. Have a great week. I love you. Take care.